What up, guys? It's Bruce, Bruce Leroy. I was, uh, I was fishing today, and, uh, I fish in this reservoir that's near me, and <clears throat> it's a drinking water reservoir, like every other, I guess most reservoirs are drinking water reservoirs, but maybe not. But this one happens to be a drinking water reservoir for the town, uh, that it's in, and, it is just chock full of brook trout. I mean, it's it's a pretty small reservoir, but it just has thousands of brook trout in it. And they don't get very big. I mean, I get people that kind of poke at me every once in a while and say, oh, that's a huge fish, you know, because it's really not. It's only like 10 or 12 inches. But if you catch a 12 inch brook trout out of this reservoir, then you pretty much caught the biggest fish in there. I mean, there might be a few in there that are a little bit bigger, but I pulled out four or five, six inchers out of there. That's pretty much the norm. So if you're pulling out ten inchers, then you're then you're doing pretty good in there. But anyway, I digress. So today I'm fishing, and uh, I will admit I was fishing off of a uh, there's a there's a spillway that I always fish off of. Um, it's kind of like a dam. Well, I guess it technically is a dam. Uh, and it's there to, you know, sort of channel the water in a certain direction down. And, um, <clears throat> you know, you're not supposed to be on there, okay? Plain and simple. You're not supposed to be on there. Uh, and, and, and really is because you can fall off it. But uh, I'm not a moron. And uh, I watch what I'm doing, and so I'm not going to fall off of it. I mean, it's not like you're sitting on a two-foot strip of concrete. You're actually on like a ten-foot strip of concrete. But you could still get really excited if you're hauling in a big fish and back up and fall off the thing and crack your head open. You know, because it's probably a good 15-foot drop off of there, and there's rocks down there and stuff like that. But once again, you know, I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to fall off it. Uh, and apparently there's a sign back on the trail, you know, 10 feet back on the trail says that you're not supposed to do it. Whatever, right? Uh, if you're in charge over there and you, and, and you catch me doing it, then you, you write me a ticket and, that, and that's the end of it. But what I don't need is I don't need these self-appointed fucking uh, trail police that walk by and go, Uh, sir... What are you doing over there? You're not supposed to be over there. You know, it's like, I always just look at people, like, now, I don't get told that very often, you know? I mean, I like, but anyway, if I am told that, you know, I just kind of politely go, okay, you know, and then I keep fishing because it's like, fuck you, dude. Fucking report me. So this guy was walking by and he felt the need to tell me that I was doing something wrong, that I'm fishing. And so I was like, okay, you know, and then I just casted my line out there again, you know, to kind of indicate to him that uh, I'm not gonna leave, that I like this fishing spot and it is what it is. So he's sitting there watching me and he's like blown away that I didn't get up and leave the second that he told me that I shouldn't be fishing there, right? He's, he's, he's like, he, he, he's incredulous. He can't believe it. So he's like, sir, did you hear what I said? I said, yeah, I heard what you said as I'm reeling it in, you know, and then I cast it out one more time. And he's like, so, uh, so I guess you're not going to leave. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm not going to leave. And then he, and then he goes into this diatribe about how I'm poisoning the water, like the drinking water. I'm like, uh, how am I poisoning the water? And he's like, those those weights you're you're using in your fishing rig, though, are are those lead? I said no, actually they're not. He's like, oh yeah, really? Oh yeah. I said they're tungsten, they're tungsten weights. I said I don't even think they make lead weights anymore, dude. Not since the '70s, or maybe they made them in the '80s, but you know, we're in the we're in the second decade of the 2000s right now. They don't they don't make lead weights anymore. Okay, so no, I'm not poisoning the the water. So go away. Well, he doesn't go away. He pulls out his cell phone. He starts taking snapshots of me on his cell phone of me standing there. And he's like, you're lucky I don't have cell phone coverage up here. 
because like we're like up in the mountains dude it's like it's like a two mile hike straight up almost to get to this fucking place he's like the second i get down in cell phone coverage i'm i'm gonna report you and i was like fucking go ahead it's a sunday number one Nobody's probably going to even fucking answer the phone, whatever number you're going to call. If you call the cops, they're not going to give a shit. So you got to call, like, the, the state gaming commission or something like that, and I guarantee you're going to have to leave a message. But let's just say, for example, that, like, for argument's sake, that they do answer the phone today. You know how long it's going to take them to respond to your stupid report about me? It's probably going to take them two hours to even, to even if they even consider coming up there, it's going to take them two hours to stop you know, fucking eating donuts or whatever the hell they're, they're doing to actually get in the truck to come over to where that is. It's going to take them another hour to hike up to where I am. You don't think I'm going to be gone by then? I was like, dude, find something better to do with your time. Just fucking get out of here. Was I breaking the rules? Yes. But you know what? It's none of your fucking business what I'm doing. So just mind your own shit. 